Dashing with unnatural agility and summoning legends of the past, this ferocious combatant channels otherworldly powers to devastate their enemies. Welcome to the Guild Wars 2 Profession Spotlight, featuring the Revenant, the Invoker of the Mists. Revenant's profession mechanics allow them to invoke legendary champions of the past to enhance their combat capabilities. Revenants can only have two legends equipped at any given time. Utilizing abilities will deplete the Revenant's energy bar. This bar regenerates over time, and to master the Revenant means to master energy management. Unique to Revenants, channeling a legend grants them five static abilities. These skills are locked and will always be the same when channeling that specific legend. Let's dive into something. Legend, wait for it, Dairy. There are four legends that a Revenant can channel. The legendary assassin Shiro Tagachi, the legendary centaur Ventari, the legendary demon Malix the Unyielding, and the legendary dwarf king Jawless Ironhammer. The assassin stance offers powerful offensive focused abilities like phase traversal that teleports you through the mists to an enemy or the legendary elite skill, Jade Winds, which stuns all nearby enemies for a short duration. The Centaur Stance grants powerful healing for allies and crowd control on enemies, like Protective Solace that blocks projectiles for a duration, or the elite skill, Energy Expulsion, which knocks down nearby enemies and heals nearby allies. The Demon Stance inflicts devastating conditions on enemies, like Vanish Enchantment, which chills enemies and removes any boons from them, or the elite skill Embrace the Darkness, that transforms you into a powerful avatar tormenting nearby enemies. The Dwarf Stance is centered around damage reduction and mitigation, like Vengeful Hammers, which consume energy whilst reducing total damage taken, or the elite skill Rite of the Great Dwarf, that turns yourself as well as allies into stone, reducing all incoming damage. The Revenant has five trait lines, Corruption, Retribution, Salvation, Invocation, and Devastation. All except Invocation are related to a specific stance. The Corruption trait lines are focused around Conditions and the Demon stance, while Retribution focuses on Defensive Capabilities and the Dwarf stance. Salvation focuses on Healing Support while being centered around the Centaur stance. The Devastation trait lines focuses on Damage and Lifesteal and is mainly focused around the assassin stance. Invocation has an emphasis on critical hits and improving other legendary stances. Sample leveling build link down below. The weapon choices of the Revenant are as unique as they are. Revenants can use hammers, staves, main hand mace and sword, while offhand is sword and axe. The hammer functions as a ranged weapon and has plenty of defenses that work well with the dwarf stance. The staff synchronizes well with support and defenses, while being closely related to the centaur stance. The main hand mace is effective at medium range and applies a number of conditions so it fits well with the demon stance, while the main hand sword offers swift strikes and is synonymous with the assassin stance. The offhand axe also works well with the demon stance by applying conditions and even offering a shadow step to an enemy while the offhand sword emphasizes a strong damage and offensive style. For beginners, I'd recommend the double sword staff combo. The double swords offer plenty of offensive capabilities and mobility, while the staff offers mobility, healing, and cleansing. An advanced build would be centered around mace axe comboed with the hammer, as this requires thoughtful gameplay to manage energy and conditions to bring down enemies. Regardless, the Revenant has a decently strong learning curve, as managing your resources as well as managing your different stances will take time to pick up and play. Open world, Revenants thrive as skilled and elusive combatants. They strike fast and hard, bringing their enemies down. Their wealth of defensive capabilities that they can bring either through trait lines or their sustain that they can offer through their stances makes it incredibly strong for them to be out on their own, even though they're not really on their own. In PvE modes, they can function both as a damage dealer or a support, while damage is much more common. 
Their strong damaging abilities paired with the relentless assault of legendary heroes makes them a worthy pick. In PvP, Double Sword Assassin Revenant still has some viability, although there are more popular Revenant builds that focus on their elite specs. Through swift mobility and damage mitigation, they can handle quite a lot without many issues. The Revenant has three elite specializations, each tied to a specific expansion. The Herald for the Heart of Thorns, the Renegade for the Path of Fire, and the Vindicator for the End of Dragons. These will be covered in a later video. While the Revenant may be out on their own, they are never truly without a companion. The legendary champions of Tyria's past offer them a brief glimpse of their power before receding back into the mists again. Watch out, the voices in your head may just be your salvation. Want to learn more about The Thief? Check out The Thief Profession Spotlight, linked here. Thank you for watching the Guild Wars 2 Profession Spotlight featuring The Revenant.